by Tarasai Makakai, a self-confessed hitman who testified to the police alleging a senior government official issued him an assassination order to take out former Foreign Affairs Minister Walter Mizembe appeared in court. Former Foreign Affairs Minister Walter Mizembe at the Harare Magistrate's Court Munyar Adzimapaz Viripo had claimed in a police report lodged at Borodale Police Station that tourism and hospitality industry permanent secretary Brad Amorminidze had told him he would receive a $50,000 cash payment for executing Mizembe. He was picked up by police in an unrelated case of supplying false information to the police in relation to a fracas at the Agriculture Ministry. He has been detained since Wednesday. Mapaz Viripo, 44, was released on $30 bail yesterday when he appeared before Harare Magistrate Rumbidze Mugwagwa charged with disorderly conduct in a public place and deliberately supplying false information to a public authority. The charges relate to accusations that Mapaz Viripo staged a scene at the Agriculture Ministry offices. Over an offer letter, he later filed a police report alleging that the Deputy Agriculture Minister David Marapira had threatened him with a gun. His lawyer at Maya made formal complaints that his client was tortured by police, prompting Mugwagwa to order an investigation into the matter. He was assaulted by certain individuals in a police station and will lodge a criminal complaint. The accused person was hauled into a certain office at the underground floor at Sid Homicide and was made to crawl while being assaulted. His jacket and cell phone were destroyed during the attack. Rubai said, Prosecutor Sebastian Mutizir were alleged that on January 23, Mapaz Viripo went to the Ministry of Land's offices following up on an offer letter for a piece of land at Mega Farm in Marandera. He was allegedly advised that he could not be given an offer letter for the said piece of land since it already had lawful occupants. The court heard that Mapaz Viripo met the acting director Rural Resettlement Kundai Makuku who asked him how he wanted to be assisted. It is alleged. He started shouting at her saying she was a liar and corrupt. Mapaz Viripo allegedly stopped shouting after the intervention of the deputy minister and was handed over to security personnel who dragged him to the police for disorderly conduct. It was further alleged that while at Harare Central Police Station, Mapaz Viripo reportedly lied to Constable Wasara that Marapira had pointed a firearm at him during the time he inquired about his offer letter. The report was booked at Harare Central. Crime Register No. 14,860,118 and was referred to Homicide Department for further management. The state claims investigations reveal that Mapaz Viripo was restrained by Marapira after shouting at Makuku before being handed over to the police for disorderly conduct. He claimed he had been beaten up for allegedly leaking classified information to the media about the Mazembe assassination plot and attempting to soil the image of government as well as scuttling re-engagement efforts. He claims he was in fact arrested for leaking top-secret information to a news organization over Mizembe's execution and also alleges he was accused of being a member of the G40's ANUPF faction that was backing former First Lady Grace Mugabe. Daily News